What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of the Extreme Teddy Long My GM series. Last episode was pretty dominant, dominant if I do say so myself. We are in first place right now with both fans and GM trophy. So it was a very good episode. We look to build on it in this one here today. Uh, before we jump into the episode, I just want to say, as always, thank you to everyone who's taken the time to like these videos, subscribe to the channel, share the videos with their friends. It helps out so much. So once again, thank you guys for that. Again, we just hit the 2000 subscriber mark. So that is huge for me. And uh, I, I can't say thank you enough, but uh, it's much, much appreciated. So guys, you're the best. Thank you so much. Now, without any further ado, let's jump into this episode. So here we are week 16. Uh, we have the commissioner goal. Triple H wants our least popular available fighter in a match this week. I'm pretty sure that is Chelsea Green. I think she just has a bit lower popularity than Zaya Lee who is now the tag team champion. I think that's the reason why. But we also have the uh, promise here. We have both uh, Sami Zayn and The Rock who want to be in the main event. And we also have El Gran Hero who wants to be in a TLC match within the next uh, two weeks. And same thing with Cindy Fluff. This we can do this week. She wants a, a match against Carolina Reaver. We can do that. Um, so that is good. Oh, actually, can we? Okay, we'll revisit that in a sec. Um, over on Manage Roster, someone was level 10. There it is, Zaya Lee. So she has a new perk. What will it be? Basic injury or basic popularity? Uh, we will go basic popularity for Zaya Lee. So that's good. And then we do need to go into the free agent market. We need a new uh, face team to take on the new Imperium of Giovanni Vinci and Jinder Mahal. Um, I think we it's been enough time that we can run back the Sami Zayn Gunther uh, program for the IC title again. Uh, we want to start the Rock Undertaker. And then I think we might try Cruiser versus Cruiser, Ka versus Ka for uh, El Gran Hero taking on the new champ, Jordan Oliver. I think that's something we can do. And we also need a new tag team to take on uh, Zia Lee and Danielle Wallace. So that is something we'll look to the free agency. We have a lot of money, which is great. Uh, so we have, wait, so I want to get at least one uh, match up there. So we need a face bruiser female. Um, so if we go bruiser, uh, oh, I might have to, I'm just gonna take a chance here because we have Ella Rubau who's a specialist who that can work. And uh, carry, that can also work as well, I'm pretty sure. So let's just go search here and hopefully a woman shows up. Uh, we, d we did, they're both healed though, unfortunately, in Ali Brawler and Vicky McLeod. Um, I think I'm gonna go and turn Ali Brawler face. We can do that, I think. Um, so she, she's always good to the for the show, unless, hold on here. No, Vicky McLeod. A better stamina, though. Uh, I'm going to go Ali Brawler. Uh, whoops. So she shouldn't cost too, too much. Only 10 we yeah. So $16,000. Nothing, nothing too bad there. But we do have a lot of money. And I want to go... I, we need one more giant on the show. And I'm going to go and... Search... Uh, legends or immortals? Um, uh, I'll search legend giant and I don't have enough points. So that's unfortunate. So I guess that's a next week thing. <laughs> um, okay. So let's maybe focus on the male, uh, tag team rivalry, which is Jinder Mahal and Giovanni Vinci. So we have a specialist and a bruiser. Uh, Ali Brawler will have to turn face. Uh, okay, who Ali Brawler can turn face. We'll still need one more. Because uh, that's going to pay off at the PLE. So then a, a fighter and specialist. Okay. Uh, so let's just go back and check that out. Uh, manage. Oops. Talent scout. So we can go Ella Rubau or Kerry Rush. Uh, I'll, I used Kerry Rush last time. And we don't have her tag team partner in Billy Slugger. So we'll go Ella Rubau. And sign her for 11,000. So there's a tag team women's feud we can start up. And then 
over. Let's search again in this ad uh, class this time. We'll search fighters and hopefully a few show up. Uh, okay, there's one face fighter in Adrian Buck. And Lurch Evans, I guess. So we can do that. And then we have a male tag team ready to go for the new Imperium. So then next week, I'll, I'll look for that, that Immortal Giant. So it'll cost us even less money, which is good. Um, okay, we can... We can get local signage. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to do that just yet. I think I might... Depending how much money we make on the next few uh, run of shows, maybe I'll try to get the arena four. Um, but 300,000 is costing a lot. So we'll have, to, we'll have to wait and see. But let's go ahead and book this. The only thing I don't want to happen here, whoops, is Sami Zayn start a rivalry with The Rock, which would, I think, be devastating. Someone in the comments mentioned that I just have The Undertaker call it The Rock now, but the thing is I want that to be a slow build and make its way to WrestleMania, but start it now to get some of their immortal uh, ratings of uh, the 225 in-ring XP guys on the show. Um, so I'm going to do this, no title on the line. And because I'm, I'm going to bank on the fact that the game is going to pick up Giant and Cruiser. And that is going to start the rivalry between uh, Gunther and Sami Zayn. So we're going to do that. We also have, we have a few rivalries ongoing, which are Claybis and Jerry Sweat. We also, Cindy Fluff was also asking for a match against Carolina Reaper. Okay, Carolina getting close to that uh, level 10, which is good. Um, and then one more match here could be Daniel Wallace needs time off. Oh, Chelsea Green needs to be in a match. So we almost messed that up. So we can have that go against Ella Rubau. If that starts a few, great. If not, no problem. Uh, stamina is pretty good between these guys. So we'll do a... Uh, we'll just do a tables match because this won't get too much, I don't think. That will definitely outdo this because they have the uh, the role, um, the role matchup. So that is good. This can be a normal match to save us some money. We got to do a role change for Ali Brawler. We have to do a. Well, uh, where was? Where is Grand Harold? There he is. We can. Oh yes, and level uh, level four promo skill. That's good. Start a rivalry with Jordan Oliver. We'll see how that goes. Cruiser versus Cruiser. The first time we're dipping into that in uh, uh, in this year's game. And then I guess we also want to do a training promo. And so I'll show you why in just a second. And we'll have it be. Um, who is close? No one really. Uh, we'll let it be Giovanni Vinci. We'll let him call out. Triple H is... Make sure your lease pop... Ooh, ooh, that could have been a big mistake. Right, it's someone I just signed, right? It's one of the males. Uh, right, it's going to be Adrian Buck. That would have been bad. <laughs> so we'll get this away because now we have a different uh, goal here. Where is Adrian Buck? Okay, taking on... Who has more stamina? Giovanni Vinci. Now this should make Triple H happy. Good. That could have been really bad. I'm happy we uh, we go and check that now. But that also opens the door for a call-out promo from Chelsea Green onto champion Gigi Dolan. Good, because that's what we wanted going, going forward. Taking a look at the season challenges, we are almost done them all. Book 10 shows with a self-promo. We only need two more of those. No, no problem. Uh, 10 shows with a call-out. We'll get this this uh, this week. And then book a show at trading. We have one ongoing today. So the only one we don't have is a self promo because we need that uh, that um, role switch from Ali Brawler. So that is good. We have not played our a power card this week. So I think what we'll do is play a health spot card uh, on Gigi Dolan. I think she needs it more than anybody else. Maybe yeah. No, 16, 16 stamina is brutal. And good for her. I think that'll freeze her popularity at at 80, which is good. And then next week, she can actually even have a match with uh, with Chelsea Green if need be. So that is good. A little worried about that opener, but we do have some good uh, XP on display here uh, in the main event. So that should hopefully bump up the show. Show's only costing $22,000. 
So uh, let's book it and, uh, and and see here. Just gonna make sure again. Triple H happy. Sami Zayn happy. Happy. Grant Harrow needs a TLC match next week. Oh, oh! I should have played the. I should have played the Hell Spa on Jordan Oliver then. He'll technically be okay at 41 stamina, but the week after uh, <laughs> will not be great. Uh, okay, but that's not an issue just just yet. Maybe we'll get Grand Hero in a, in a TLC match against somebody else. Maybe with a Jordan Oliver interference. We'll have to see. But uh, Triple H is happy, so that's good. No penalties. Let's go. Starting off with NXT Black and Gold, who are still in, in second place, but now behind us. Have Cash Suplex in the opener against Walking Wild. And Ludwig Kaiser is now the uh, North American champion, taking on uh, Santos Escobar in the main event. Over on Raw, it's Tommaso Ciampa versus Dijak. And Mr. Higglesby in that main event slot for Raw and JBL taking on Rich Orikawa. Okay, over on ECW, Fallon Henley taking on Pretty Ruthless, and Sheamus is back, and he's still teaming with Cameron Grimes, they're still the champion, ch champions, taking on Damian Priest and Ivar. Here we go, over on SmackDown, Clay Biss versus Jerry Sweat, this is a level 3 rivalry, which is good, I maybe shouldn't have had them fight this week, um, that's okay. I have two level three rivalries going uh, back to back here. I don't want them both go to level four. So, okay, so two and a half star match there. Roll change from Ali Brawl. <laughs> Embarrassing promo, but she's a face still, so that's good. Cindy Fluff versus Carolina Reaper. Cindy Fluff picks up the win. That'll make her happy, I think. Two star match goes to level four. Okay. Excellent promo from Grant Harrow. Nice. Well done. Starts a rivalry against Jordan Oliver. Giovanni Vinci taking on Adrian Buck. Giovanni Vinci picks up the win. He's had a really good season uh, with SmackDown so far. Chelsea Green, okay promo, but it gets it started against uh, Gigi Dolan. And in the main event, Gunther, Sami Zayn, and The Rock. And Sami Zayn picks up the win in an okay two and a half star match. So a little bit of a, of a weak, uh, uh, a soft week here, but uh, we'll see. Not too far behind everywhere else just in that main event slot which uh goes to shows because the performance wasn't great gunther's stamina is down to 37 sammy's is down to 47 that's okay though uh not too bad no rivalry started which, which is good we wanted that to uh, say for the rock versus the undertaker which i think we can do uh next week so this is this is good stuff okay uh cindy fluff performance is okay popularity is just bad between those two Nothing you can really do there. Performance not great between these two. Stayed at level three though, and stamina is still good to go again next week just for, just to, to, to fill some some stuff there. But at the same time, these two are just going as our mid card matches to stay afloat with everyone else so we can focus on the big stars for the opener and the uh, and the, the main. So over on NXT, they use a special, uh, special uh, network card, uh, or special promotion, I forget what it's called. Uh, they gain 13.5, thousand fans with that and for a total of 47 7 so they might be catching us this week because I, I don't think we're gonna do that uh over on raw they got 36,000 fans it's gonna be closer to what we did this week i think ecw match card quality b for ecw interesting for 40,000 fans and uh smackdown match card quality c for yeah 33,000. i don't think it's enough for um for nxt black and gold to catch us but uh that's, that's actually not too bad. They only got that because of their um, their special network. So not too bad. Uh, hey, NXT uh, bought Precious Silver from SmackDown. Yes, they did. Uh, Adrian Buck, the newest superstar on SmackDown. Never heard of him. That's tough. Try repeating those words to my face next week. Chelsea Green, if you have the guts, says Gigi Dolan. El Gran Hero called out Jordan Oliver tonight and knocked it out of the park. Really great stuff. Way to go, El Gran Hero. Uh, and not sure the better superstar one be seeing you again, Cindy Fluff says Carolina Reaper. We made a good amount of money there, which is good. Uh, to the moon card, which always helps. Double the cost. This is for the call out uh, season challenge. And oh, wow, we are up by 98 fans. Yes, we still have the uh, the GM trophy there, but we're up by 98 fans over uh, NXT Black and Gold. So we're cutting it close here. We, I don't mind. Uh, okay. 
interesting. Um, I, I don't mind falling behind during the uh, during the the normal weekly television shows because I know I have the confidence in myself to make it up at the PLEs. But uh, we want to try to stay ahead as much as we can here. What's Clay Biss asking for? I think I earned a shot at the men's title. Uh, yes. Yes. I think that it's just the Intercontinental Championship. Uh, Clay Biss was popularity shot up to 64. So I'm very happy about that. Oh, this could be our, our um, this could be our shakeup card playing uh, into effect here. Uh, okay. What's going on here? Um, I want to go up against both L, so I'm guessing that's going to be uh, El Granjero, and, and Jerry Sweat. Um, I can make that happen, because El Granjero wants... Oh, this is a TLC match that's going to be... I'm going to say yes, just to see, and then if, if, uh, if Giovanni Vinci gets upset... That'll be sad. Uh, have your most popular available male uh, face and heel fight each other this week. Well, that's annoying, Triple H. No, it's not. Thank you, Triple H. Good. That's exactly what we want. Sammy and Gunther. Triple H happy? Good. Love to see that. Okay. We have a good amount of money. So I think we're going to go to the talent scout here. And who was this going to be for? Because you two are going one on one. It'll be you two next. Giovanni Vinci. Wow. Um, Undertaker's popularity is taking a big hit, which is pretty devastating. Clay Biss and Jerry Sweat are working well. Okay. Um, Jordan Oliver could still use some time off. So Grant Harrell's going to have his TLC match uh, to make Giovanni Vinci happy. What was the other, um, what was the other promise that that's it? Oh no. Okay. Yeah. So intercontinental title shot from Claybus. We can do that. Um, okay. So actually can we even just, oh, Gunther, Gunther, Gunther. Okay. A little nervous about that. Do we have a pre-match physio oh we don't okay so hopefully all right let's let's see what we'll see what we got going on here uh tag team match i think we want to start one of i guess not the men's because of uh giovanni benchy wanting his match this is will be a, a title match not going to be in the opener we can have the rock versus the undertaker get that started that'll be in the opener see how that goes uh actually that just that just yells main event right so we'll just do that uh this will be a title match gunther please don't get hurt and then this has to be a tlc match uh, a triple threat TLC match <laughs> between Giovanni Vinci, El Granjero, and uh, Jerry Sweat. Okay, so let's let's check that out. That seems pretty ridiculous. Just throw that all together, but uh, Granjero wants a TLC match. I'm trying to make every promise happen as well. Uh, Jerry Th Sweat, El Granjero. Okay. Okay, so I think that's okay. That shouldn't outdo this. I'd be really sad if it did. Um, maybe I'll just switch this around and have these two on the mic this time and replace a match with uh, Jordan Oliver taking the week off. Carolina Reaper and Cindy Fluff, just to be a good mid card. I leave it as normal. That's no, even though it's level four, like last week got two stars. There's no way it should outdo this. Um, so yeah, so we can we're gonna do a uh, charity promo from The Rock. We're gonna do a charity promo from The Undertaker. 
the show is starting to add up cost wise now and we're going to do a training from jordan oliver i think that's what we're going to do jordan oliver's still not happy which i don't like to see that um triple h is happy uh, or actually no undertaker is going to do a self promo to try to gain some uh, popularity boost there so let's go, okay, okay so the rock and undertaker are still on the show the only where we have here is, an, is if gunther gets injured in a normal match which i really hope doesn't happen um that hopefully starts a new rivalry this is not stale just yet and this is gonna make grand hero and um and giovanni vinci happy okay so that's the show power card we haven't used anything yet um Maybe we'll just play a veto star or veto champ. Um, actually, I, I don't want to get anyone else mad at me. I'm not sure even if that's how the, the mechanic works, but I just don't want them to get upset. So I think we're okay. Maybe I can play this soon. Get schooled to the moon. Good stuff. I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, was there anything to buy? Beginner's luck, health spa. I'll just go and book this one. Uh, yeah. Should be looking pretty good, I think think i don't think i've made any mistakes with the the booking just make sure triple h is happy for uh fulfilled commissioner gold good good let's go the only one that's kind of worrying me is that level four mid card but no, there's no way their popularity is not high enough um sammy zane versus gunther intercontinental title on the line gunther wins no rivalry, but no injury, which is very important. So three and a half star match was very good. Excellent promo from The Rock getting us 7,500 fans, which is good. Zia Lee and Danielle Wallace putting their tag team titles on the line. They retain. Mediocre two star match. Okay, so no rivalry increase there either, which is annoying. Uh, Undertaker, excellent. Four popularity points up. Good. Carolina Reaper versus Cindy Fluff. Normal match. I'm expecting two and a half star. That's even better, I think. Jordan Oliver with a training gets five in-ring XP. Good. And El Granjero versus Giovanni Vinci versus Jerry Sweat. Kind of thrown together match here. But El Granjero wins his TLC match. And a good three-star match, so the drama curve is good. Over on ECW, it's Dexter Loomis and Gunther McGurder. Kind of look like they should work together uh, in a tag team. A, a tag team match against Slade and Joe Coffey. And the new tag team champs of Damian Priest and Ivar are putting their titles on the line against Sheamus and now uh, Walking Wild. Not uh, not Cameron Grimes. Interesting. Over on Raw, it's a triple threat to open the show. Mr. Higglesby and Kit Wilson and Dijak and Jimmy Uso taking on Braun Strowman. That seems like it's been going on for a while. So maybe we'll take a, a, a look at that. So it definitely wasn't Walking Wild who was just teaming with Sheamus. I just got the LWO members mixed up. Sorry about that. So it must have been Angel Garza, I guess. Uh, and the the other two LWO members are are in the uh, are on the card here in NXT Black and Gold. LA Knight, I think, just is making his debut for NXT. I also could be making that up though. Not sure. Okay, so NXT Black and Gold had a really good week, but we were definitely not as far back as we were the week before. Skip match. That's tough, but we made 48,000 fans, which is good. And that's just what the rocks, um, that's because of the rocks promo that he cut there, which is good. Made $63,000. Good stuff. I like tonight. Smackdown. Keep it coming. Never seen Cindy so dominant before. How long can she keep this up tonight? Smackdown started strong and ended strong. I like it. The rock just killed it with that charity promo. Danielle and Zai defend their belt successfully. Ella Rubau and Ali Roller worked okay as a tag team, I guess. So that's a note. Ali Roller is such a uh, such a natural being a good guy, okay. And Gunther getting even with Sami Zayn tonight. Okay, good stuff. Uh, ECW match card quality B, but uh, we, so we basically had the same amount of, of fan growth, except for we had a charity promo uh, and a very good one at that. Raw match card quality C for forty six. That oh, they had an excellent uh, charity promo done as well, and that made the difference for them. Over ECW and on NXT, thirty-six thousand. So we just uh, we widened the gap a little bit this week, uh, basically because of that uh, promo cut by The Rock. And we're the first uh, first show to surpass two million fans, which you love to see. 
Ooh, and Mick Foley got a GM trophy. So he shoots up into second place. Good. About time uh, the extreme uh, AI difficulty are, are getting some trophies. Two weeks of Survivor Series. Okay. Uh, hey there, Teddy. I've uh, been... Uh, Watching the, pro you're watching the progress of SmackDown and putting together a better fight than I expected, but it won't last. I'm pretty sure you're in last place. Uh, anyways, I expect the top of the, I expect to be at the top of the podium by the end of the season. Best of luck. Okay. Uh, thanks for the match with L and Jerry. I kind of knew they'd have to team up to cheat and deny me a victory, uh, but the crowd could see who the best fighter was. Okay, so are you happy? I, yeah, okay. Uh, 90 popularity Gunther, let's go. I think you should put me in a match with Evans. Trust me on this. That sounds like a great idea. I'll make it happen in the next three weeks. I'm sure I can pull that off. Uh, sh yeah. Gotta keep, uh, gotta keep Gunther happy. Ensure that your least popular available specialist is in a match this week. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be... Ella Rubao. Okay, so we can try again for the women's tag team championships. New perk for Carolina Reaper, which is basic morale or basic power card. Uh, I guess in this instance, I'll go with morale. So that's good. Jinder Mahal's stamina is finally coming up. How are the other... Gunther, 27. Sami Zayn, 34. Oh, that's not good. Uh, the Rock and The Undertaker can main event this show. Grand Hero, 41 stamina, so that is good. Maybe you can have a match with Jordan Oliver this week. Okay. Okay, so these two need to rest up because the week after, Claybus needs to get involved with that uh, Intercontinental title match. So I really hope... Okay, good. We can buy... We can buy this health spot card. Um... Yeah, buy this health spot card and play this on Gunther. This is our power card for this week. Because we're going to need him ready next week. Okay, so that's good. Uh, I want to make Triple H's request happy. So, U2 versus U2 again. That makes Triple H happy, right? Yeah, good. Um, season challenges. We are one away from self promo and three away from training. So we'll just keep an eye on that. Uh, and then, oh, Gunther's also going to want to match with Lurch. Oh, he might get thrown in to the PLE. Uh, we'll, we'll see. Uh, whoops. So the opener, like we said, I think we're going to do a title match. Both their stamina, not great. But hopefully this goes to level two. But this also will be the test to see if this could be a good rivalry going forward. Um, it's level one, cruiser versus cruiser. So we'll see if that gives us any type of uh, of class or uh, role boost. Uh, over here, we are going to do Gigi Dolan versus Chelsea Green. Did that happen last week? I forget. Uh, no, it was, it, was a, it was a promo, right? Okay. Um, Gigi Dolan's stamina is looking good again, so we can do this. And then in the main event, The Rock versus The Undertaker. We'll put a little bit... We'll do tables match just to start it off. It's The Undertaker's specialty. Um, and I think that should outdo this. Um, I'm going to do this instead just to make sure here yeah just to make sure okay um and then what we got we have a call out from we want Sami Zayn to start something with Gunther we want I guess we can do a self promo uh from Clay Biss and we can do a training promo from... Is anyone close? We'll give Jerry Sweat a try at uh, a training promo. Okay, this is this show's looking much better. We have four assets to go. I think I'm going to save them because I think we're going to get the level or tier four arena um, on week 21. Because we will we will be able to make some trades. So we'll see if we can get some, uh, some money for that. Uh, okay. We might even be able to get, uh, I said I was going to look for a, a legend, but I think I might hold it because everything is, is in, is in action here. 
yeah, I think this is this is a really good show. Uh, we already played the power card, so we're good to go. Just making sure Triple H is happy. He is okay. Good. That show's only costing twenty-two thousand dollars, which is really good. Uh, Alba Fire and Tiffany Stratton uh, not putting their tag team titles on the line against Bianca Belair and Indy Hartwell, but Ludwig Kaiser is putting a title on the line against uh, Santos Escobar. Over on Raw, we got Shinsuke Nakamura taking on Otis. Shinsuke could be a double champion. And a Tornado tag, uh, no titles on the line, but a Tornado tag in the main event on Raw. Over on ECW, double champion Damian Priest in a match with 37 stamina. So interesting choice there by Mick Foley. And Pretty Ruthless and Fallon Henry, uh, Fallon Henry, uh, Hen Lee are in the main event. Jeez, easy for me to say. Um, all right, over on SmackDown, I'm expecting this to be a good card. Gigi Dolan, Chelsea Green, women's title match. Or sorry, uh, tables match. Chelsea Green is a new champion. Three and a half star opener. So that is good. Rivalry grows to two. Excellent promo from Zami Zayn. Love to see that. Starts it up with Gunther. Jordan Oliver, El Gran Hero. Championship on the line. Or Oliver retains his title in a good three star match. That's good. Okay, so I'm okay with going cruiser, cruiser, I think. If I don't skip too too fast, I'll try to see how that uh, how that played out. Clay Biss, self promo. Okay, promo gets one popularity. Danielle Wallace, Zaya Lee taking on El Rubao and Ali Brawler. Rivalry was started though, at least. So uh, the heels keep their titles and uh, start a rivalry. Good, Jerry Sweat. Ooh, weak promo, but gain 10 in ring XP. That might move him to level three. If if that's correct and then tables main event the rock versus the undertaker this is uh, this is the big one the rock wins even though it was undertaker specialty match in a three-star match okay so uh let's expect a bit more but that's okay it's it's a there's no there's no roll boost um and it was no rivalry now we have the at least level one rivalry going which is good um yeah very very solid week from us not uh, not upset at all uh, raw actually three three and a half star rated matches so good for them uh we want to see how this did okay so class matchup you get where where was one that does match up i have nothing here um it's only a three star but it's something at least so it's not completely terrible uh tag chemistry between these two is not the best um no this is okay though this is good uh, I'm happy with that. Good week. Over on NXT Black and Gold, 43,000 fans. They did a they do did do a charity promo. Uh, didn't seem to help all that much. I think this the the major thing that's happening for me right now is The Rock and Undertaker being on the show. Uh, 41,000 fans for Raw. ECW got show quality D, match card quality B for 40,000 fans. And over on SmackDown, match card quality B, which is good for 45,000. I, it's got to be this, the the superstar level bonus that's uh, that's helping out with the fan growth here, because uh, yeah, good good week for us. Love tonight SmackDown. Looking forward to next week. Uh, yo SmackDown, know who deserves the world title around a switch? The Undertaker says director singer TLC. Uh, we got Chelsea Green beats Gigi and so easy too. Grand Hero getting pushed a lot uh, lately on SmackDown. Uh, Bear Mall will be happy about that. Jordan Oliver is still champion tonight, and no one could accuse SmackDown of repetitive matches this week. They mixed it up a lot. Sold out. I think this is for the Triple H. Uh, ooh, Health Spa 3. That's good. Uh, so we are still in first place, and by about uh, 13,000 fans over uh, NXT Black and Gold, and still tied with ECW for the GM trophies. One week to Survivor Series. Oh, here. Oh. So OBS crashed again. Apparently doesn't like being uh, doesn't like power cards being played against me. So Jordan Oliver here has written, written us an email saying he wants 50k bonus. I do have the money to do this. Um, and I will because he is our world champion. His popularity is only 66 though, which is a bit soft. Um, we'll do it though. We'll we'll do the, we'll we'll give him the the bonus. Okay, I was going to say, you stay content, dude? Come on. No, he's at least happy, which is good. Gunther is going to say, how about we have... Uh, yeah, you got yourself a partnership, Gunther. Gunther and The Undertaker can basically get whatever they want. 
Uh, okay, so men's intercontinental match promised to clay bis. Ensure that your least popular available bruiser is in a match this week. Okay, Triple H, I just need to do one thing first, and that is this right here. Uh, Gunther, oof, Sami Zayn having the 40 stamina, so he's not out of the woods yet. And Clay Biss title on the line. Um, okay, we can do that. Is this Jerry Sweat? Is there level three with Clay Biss, right? Okay. Uh, the Rock and The Undertaker. Both are happy, which is good. Uh, Jordan Oliver's stamina is not good, and neither is Gran Hero, so they need to take this week off. Um, yes. The tag team men's who hasn't even started, eh? So that's not good. We need to get that going. Uh, tag team men's feud. So Buck and... Lurch Evans titles on the line and Gunther's gonna want to match next week also with Lurch which is kind of devastating um but maybe we could so let me see where that journal is uh match against Lurch Evans in two weeks and I guess that's when we'll run in for him and then that's probably gonna be off the, the PLE which is a little devastating but uh that's okay that so who Triple H is saying what here? Triple H is saying the least popular bruiser. Who is that? I think that's Ali Brawler, right? It is. Okay. Make that a whoops. Make that a tag team match then. Okay, Triple H is happy. Yep. And then what we got is Gigi Dolan's stamina is kind of low. These are these two are already at a level four rivalry, which is good. Um, Chelsea Green is now the champion. That's true. Um, okay. I did get. I think I have to play this power card again of health spell. Um, I think we're gonna play it on. We're gonna. Oh man! Then Grand Hero needs to take the week off also. Uh, okay. Okay. Maybe I'll play it on Gigi Dolan, because her and Chelsea Green are so... I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play this on Gigi Dolan and not advance this on purpose. So this is going to be the WrestleMania feud also. Um, and then in this main event, we could have... Actually, I think I needed them in the main event, which is <laughs> a little tough. Uh, okay. This is now the main event. Um, and this is going to go here. And we are going to throw in um, these two. This is going to be a, this is going to get hit with stale, so it's not going to be good. But that's why it's going in the mid card and should not be outdone by that. This, oh, Danielle Wallace's stamina is terrible. How did that get so bad? Um, okay. Okay, so I'm going to clear this and replace it with Ali Brawler versus Zia Lee. Okay. We are going to do... I think it's just training. We need to complete all the season goals. And it's just two more. So we'll do one this this show. And then... Training from... Ooh, The Rock and Undertaker can't even do training. So that's, that's fun to know. Um, we are going to do a training from... For Jerry, he'll, he'll go to level 5 after this if it's good enough. And then we'll do a call-out from Jordan. We're going to risk this a little bit with the cause. Sorry, boys. We need to, though. If this goes to level 4, that'd be worth it. Um, okay. Okay, so we're going to have the... F this is on purpose. I I've, I've usually have way more feuds paying off at PLEs, or at least big-time feuds paying off at PLEs, but we're only going to have potentially 3 paying off at the PLE. This has the potential to go up to level two, but that's fine. Um, okay, all normal matches. So this is going to be a pretty cost-friendly show, which it is. 
Uh, I'm okay with that. Not doing anything here because I don't want to get Sammy injured. Just make sure Triple H happy, right? Because, yeah, there is Alley Brawler. Played our power card on GG Dolan. Okay, let's do it. $11,000, the cost of this show. Pretty crazy. Uh, in the opener, Giovanni Vinci and Jinder Mahal taking on Adrian Buck and Lurch Evans for the titles. Imperium, still stay strong. Ooh, a two-star match. Yikes. Embarrassing promo from Jordan Oliver, but it worked, so that's good. Ooh, is this going to be two stars? Or even more, I should say? <laughs> is we are going to lose some ground here. The Rock, the Rock and uh, the Rock and Undertaker aren't even on this card. Yeah, this is this is going to hurt a little bit. Zia Lee picks the one over Ali Brawler. Two star match, okay. So that did work at least. They're going to be low on stamina, but they're going in at level four rivalry, which is good. And Gunther putting his championship on the line in the main event triple threat match. And Sami Zayn wins the title back in another three and a half star match. No one is injured, which is good. Gunther should have enough stamina to be on the PLE, which is also good. Okay. Piper Niven versus Katana Chance. And then I think that is a main event fatal four way. No titles on the line on the show for ECW. Over on Raw, it's got Rich Orikawa and JBL opening up the show. And uh, Otis remained your inter uh, your uh, US champion, and he's still taking on Shinsuke Nakamura. And then over on NXT Black and Gold, it's Rhea Ripley and Cora Cut in the opener. Precious Silver taking on Scarlet Bordeaux. Uh, I think that's Jackson Smooth taking on Montez Ford, and Alba Fire putting her title on the, on the line against Indy Hartwell. So, yeah, that's kind of a rough show from us. What I need to check here is Gunther sells stamina 43, which is good. Sami Zayn, you can take the PLE off or maybe cut a promo, but that's fine. That's fine. Uh, this rivalry being one star will be replaced at the PLE, I'm pretty sure. So that is okay. And that became level four, which is good. Match card quality, see, yeah, star power, not the best and for 32,000 fans. Uh, so who the hell is Lurch Evans? That was a one-sided beatdown. Here's a crazy idea. How about Carolina and Sydney settle their beef already and move on? Ouch, okay. Uh, that rivalry with Vinci and Adrian Buck was going it was going somewhere. What happened to that? I want to see where it goes. I uh, just wanted to congratulate Jordan Oliver on his new stand-up comedy career. Loads of laughs from the crowd tonight from uh, El Gran Harrow. And uh, put on a good performance against Zia Lee, but sometimes the result doesn't just go your way, says Ali Brawler. ECW made 40,000 fans on their show. Uh, over on Raw, match card quality be, yeah, I think Raw had the best show for sure. And it shows with 46,000 fans uh, there. And then over on NXT Black and Gold, not a bad week, but not a great week. So, And they did outdo us. So they did close the gap just a tiny bit. We got another health spot card, which is much needed. Uh, so that is good. And checking by fans. Yeah, they did close the gap for sure. We only have a th uh, 3,000 fan, or no, sorry, 6,000 fan lead on NXT Black and Gold. Uh, but again, still no, still no trophies for Tyler Breeze or Sonya Deville. Here we are at Survivor Series. Triple H, the fans are starting to get a little tight. Yes, 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 yes. We know. Yes. Thank you, Triple H. Uh, Clay Biss, I appreciate the title shot. I'm happy to have a boss that keeps his word. Thank you. Uh, hey boss, I've been talking a lot with Carolina. She thinks we make a great idea for a tag team. Uh, sure, let's see how that works out next week. Uh, do not book your most popular cruiser. Triple H. I this, I this could be Sami Zayn, right? I really, really hope this is Sami Zayn. Okay, good stuff. So this match could still happen, which is good. Okay, okay, we we can we can we can do some stuff here. This is this is good. This is good. Uh, what we're gonna do immediately before I forget is Gunther versus Lurch with an interference from me for Gunther. Okay, don't want to cancel that. Whoops. Uh, yeah, okay. That's fine. Good. We can do all of that. We've, then we've done all that. Okay, good. Um, Gigi Dolan and Chelsea Green have great stamina right now. The Rock and The Undertaker are going to be on this card. We are going to have the men's world title match. And I'm probably going to have to add a stipulation to that and hope 
they don't get injured for too much or hopefully not even at all uh, and we have one more uh, Cindy Fluff and Carolina Reaper got to pay off that rivalry which I think we're gonna do by making this a fatal four-way tables match uh, Fluff and Reaper title match I'm going to play a fixed match uh, for this week to make sure that stays on Gigi Dolan or uh, Chelsea Green this match is going to be oh, a TLC match just seems like it's, it's gonna kill them both uh, what is the branded PLE bonus tables match okay that's good to know because uh, we made this a tables match, right? Yeah. We're going to make this a extreme rules match for the championship. We have one more match to book. Actually, before I forget, we're going to go ahead and do Survivor Series bonus. Add that there. We still have five assets, which is good. And then we are going to do check over Jerry Sweat. What do you have, buddy? What is your new perk? TLC or ambulance match? We'll go TLC because we don't have ambulance match just yet. Okay. So. We have a lot of money. The show isn't costing too much. And we have to pay off this feud also. So this is going to go here. And we'll spectate this match. I hopefully haven't been recording too long. Um, okay. So we can't book Sami Zayn, but we need to do a training and that should book all the season goals, which is good. Um, I can't believe a tag team rivalry didn't even start between between <laughs> Lurch and Adrian. That's fine. I think uh, Adrian had promo skill 3-2 this whole time. We'll do a self promo for uh, Giovanni Vinci. We'll do a self promo for Jinder Mahal keep him up and Daniel Walls can still use time off at least there's something going there actually this is what we'll do a tag team call out from yeah good show is only costing $45,000 which is okay I'm thinking this is gonna be a tables match also because this helps from uh, the Undertaker and his PLE branded bonus we're gonna skip that one for now because we'll, maybe I think that's gonna be the one we're gonna watch at Wrestlemania we're going to skip that for now. Uh, and I guess we'll watch the two cause go at it in Extreme Rules match. So we'll go over uh, Power Card. We are going to play a... I think I had a fixed match. Okay, good. Fixed match. We'll keep it on Chelsea Green. Yeah, because I don't want her to lose it like that. We'll keep it on Chelsea Green. And then... Uh, looks good. Looks good. I'm happy with this card. Training cell phone. Yeah, we're good to go. Okay, starting with NXT Black and Gold. There's a triple threat match for the NXT Champion. I haven't seen Kevin Owens once this week. Maybe he's just been sucking the mid card, but he's putting his title on the line, and so is um, Santos Escobar, who's a new North American champion. That's a triple threat match as well. That looks pretty good, actually. I'm not, not going to lie. Uh, Raw has their tag, women's tag team champions putting their titles on the line in the opener. And Otis, who is still the US champion, putting his title on the line against Shinsuke Nakamura in the main event. That was I think those were all normal matches also. Same thing on the ECW card. All normal matches. This second mid card is for sure going to get one star. Right? That's McGurder versus Slade. So we'll see about that. And Fallon, uh, Fallon Henley in the main event against Pretty Ruthless. So interesting over there. And now let's see on SmackDown, The Rock versus The Undertaker. In a tables match in the opener, The Undertaker gets his win back. Good three-star match. I thought that would be a bit more. Not going to lie. Uh, Adrian Buck, good training. He might be on the way out, actually. Might look to trade him. Gunther versus Lurch Evans with interference from Teddy Long. Mediocre two-star match, so that's good, at least. Uh, Self-promo from Giovanni Vinci, that's fine. Chelsea Green picks up the win. Ooh, an amazing four-star match. I guess I did discount the fact that there was a level four rivalry in this feud. 
Uh, I don't think that should hurt poor opening. I think like the third match is kind of exempt, but I guess we'll find out. This is a good test for everybody. Good sell promo from Jinder Mahal. We got Clay Biss versus Jerry Sweat looking to settle their rivalry. Jerry Sweat picks up the win. Great three and a half star match. Okay. Good promo from them. And I, th this is going to... I, I need some time to, to trade. So unfortunately, sorry. Sorry, Cause. We'll have to simulate this match and uh, see who picks up the win. Jordan Oliver versus El Granjero. Jordan Oliver keeps his title. Classic four and a half star rated match. And it looks like nobody was injured. So that is good. Are we going to get poor opening? No, we got good booking. Okay. Yeah, NXT Black and Gold definitely looked like they had a good show, and they did. Raw's got amazing booking. Actually, everyone's got amazing booking except for us. So hopefully our star power will carry us through with The Undertaker and The Rock. And it's now a level 2 rivalry, which is good. Um, and what, one, see, this got a 2-star... No, 1.5-star match. Okay, that's what, I was, that's what I was thinking. Match card quality... Or match show quality, sorry. C from NXT Black and Gold. Interesting. Okay, and they did 138,000 fans. So that's pretty big. I'm not going to lie. And a little worried. Show quality D from Raw for 110,000. Okay, kind of keeping it up there. We got ECW show quality D. I'm, uh, I'm surprised that uh, that NXT Black and Gold got that show quality up to C. That's the first time we've seen it so far. Uh, ECW did 110,000. Did we get? We don't even have show quality C right now. And so NXT Black and Gold are jumping in front again. If if they have a, a GM trophy, they're gonna legit be in front. We'll have to, oops, I almost skipped that. Uh, if you ask me, Teddy Long is playing with fire. Not the smartest move to interfere in a match and handpick favorites. Well, I'm probably going to trade one of them, so it's okay. Uh, name a rivalry with a better ending than Jordan Oliver versus El Gran Hero. Probably should, I guess, watch that match then. Um, great SmackDown tonight. Good matches. Loved Oliver's match tonight. Hats off to Gran Hero. He may have lost, but he lost with style. Very cool. I see Gunther was up to his usual dirty tricks against Lurch Evans, said Sammy Zayn. And Jerry Sweat getting even with Clay Biss tonight. So we got our contract negotiations too, which is good. Uh, get schooled. So we completed all the season challenges, which is great. Uh, as you can see there, NXT Black and Gold have a 15,000 fan uh, lead over us, but they have yet to pick up a GM trophy, which seems pretty crazy at this point. But uh, hey, it, uh, they're, they're the lead for fans, which also we, we also take into consideration over here. So we'll see how OBS plays with our... Um, with our trade screen here, hopefully there's no more crashes. Um, okay, so we're gonna look to trade uh, Lurch and Adrian Buck, because nothing happened there. And is there anybody else who is not relevant at the moment? Uh, Jerry Sweat and potentially Clay Biss. Uh, and Gren Harrow also because their stamina is so bad. And Jordan Jordan Oliver's popularity is so bad too. I don't know why that's happening. Um, okay. Hmm. Uh, Cindy Fluff also because now Cindy Fluff and Carolina Reaper are kind of disposable as well because we have everything set up already. So we'll look to move those four and we'll see. So what, there's 34, 64, about $70,000 worth right here of wrestlers. Can we get somebody big? F Can we get uh, Ludwig Kaiser, who you were on NXT, right? Ludwig Kaiser, I think. 16 stamina, not great. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's going to be a season two try to get. <laughs> um, Tegan Knox is very upset. Maybe she'll just join our show. Does someone have... Oh, uh, no, that's, we don't want that, actually. Um, okay, so maybe just money and look to sign. We, have, we do have a ton of cash, actually. That's really good. Um, okay, let's... We want a face fighter. Um, because that is Jinder Mahal is a bruiser and then, uh, Vinci is a, uh, is a special, so that's okay. So, Dexter Loomis is there. 
Uh, we could get him, but I'll pass for now. Um, you know what? Maybe I'll just try to get some cash here and then... What? I think that's a 72,000. Let's propose trade, see what happens. They say yes. So I'm going to look to spend some big money on getting some... Uh, some people looking for a feud there. Uh, Clay Biss only has three weeks remaining, but we could sign him. But this is the problem right here. Uh, Jerry Sweat does... Do I, I can't be doing a, a promo. Uh, a main event, Jerry Sweat versus Jordan Oliver, can I? Um, I don't think so. Uh, so Jerry Sweat... And well, I think we're gonna have to. I think we're gonna have to look for Grand Harrow to find a replacement there. And Clay Biss also will try to draft you guys in season two. But here's about a hundred thousand dollars, and we'll try to turn this into uh, wait, a hundred thousand, right? About. A little bit more. We'll try for 110, see what uh, Breeze says. He's going to say yes, and we're going to call it there because if we look at it, we have The Rock versus The Undertaker is level two. Sami Zayn versus Gunther is level two. Gigi Dolan versus Chelsea Green is level two. Jordan Oliver, we have to find someone to go up against him. Women's Tag Feud is level two, and we have to find two more faces for. Uh, Giovanni Vinci and Jinder Mahal. But we have $800,000 to do that. So I think we're in good shape. So we'll skip trading. We're going to get a trade from ECW, which we don't want. Uh, we're going to decline that. Pretty ruthless. Uh, she only has one, one uh, week remaining, so we're going to decline that. I'm telling you, trade offers with Mick Foley, I, it seems. It's just the thing that... Uh, that the game doesn't like. We're being offered one half of the... Oh, Jimmy Uso upset. Shayna Baszler upset. Shayna... Oh, but Shayna Baszler... No, we don't need any more women, though. The women's feud is set. Uh, we're gonna... I'm gonna... No, I'm gonna decline this. Hopefully, uh, the game doesn't crash again. Just decline. Uh, we're gonna leave it at that. NXT is going to come in with an offer as well. Tegan Knox and Tyler Bate. Uh, that would be kind of cool, but at the same time, again, we don't need any more women on the show. And Tyler Bate's a specialist. I could, I, I could take Tyler Bate, but with the amount of money that we have, I'm going to look to get some big names in free agency, so we're going to decline that one as well. And, uh, and that's it. Okay, so four weeks to WrestleMania. Notice there the new WrestleMania uh, logo as well. Uh, good, I can trust you. Keep your word. That's important to me. I'm glad I joined SmackDown. Good. Happy with that. Uh, listen, not feeling physically fit, uh, says Jordan Oliver. Can I take two weeks off? I'm going to say, sure, get some rest. Hopefully his uh, his popularity freezes. And we'll check the shakeup cards here. Um, base, uh, base of the ring tables, submission and Hell in the Cell matches. Grant Superstar five more in ring XP. Okay. Uh, steal a power card from each opponent next week. Cannot steal GM or brand power cards. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. And select the super... I, I'm going to try. I've never seen this yoink card before, I don't think. So I'm going to try that one out. That, I feel, is a huge, huge power because you'll... Not only do you get one of their power cards, you see what they have. Interesting. Okay. Okay. So that is where we're going to leave this episode. Uh, if you've watched all the way through, guys, can't say thank you enough. Uh, if you haven't already, please leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with your friends. We're, we're still trying to grow this community. It's uh, It's been so much fun. I'm having so much fun with this. So again, I thank you guys for that. We have the big... Uh, I, I did a future in the future stars challenge. I did leading up until WrestleMania and then just the WrestleMania episodes by itself. So I think I can do that again in this series. Uh, it just gives more time because then we have a draft after. We're going to continue with this uh, series until I, I make the Hall of Fame. 
Uh, I may say that now, depending on uh, how you guys enjoy it. I'll let you guys have your say. But uh, yeah, so that's what's uh, what's upcoming uh, for next Friday, coming uh, Friday at uh, 9 a.m. And as always, thanks for watching.